Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is a real privilege and an honor for me to address all of you on behalf of the OSE Office for Democratic Institutions and Human Rights. At the outset, I would like to thank Bnei Breathe International for organizing this important event, which highlights the need for innovation and collaboration in combating anti-Semitism through Holocaust remembrance and education. These are two themes which are key for our office in our efforts to support OEC participating states encountering anti-Semitism. A word that constantly remembers the Holocaust through both commemoration and education is one in which we hope the horrors of the past will never be repeated. The Holocaust provides the ultimate lessons on the horrific consequences of toxic and harmful prejudices and hate when we fail to counter intolerance and discrimination from the very beginning. And yet, we have seen how the COVID-19 pandemic has exacerbated pre-existing discrimination and intolerance, and fueled instances of incitement to hostility or violence, conspiracy theories, and scapegoating. We are now reminded yet again that anti-Semitism is a pernicious form of hatred that we cannot confine to a distant and painful past. Anti-Semitism continues to transform over time, finding new and fertile ground to flourish across the OEC region, most notably now in the digital space. And despite their many positive contributions, digital technologies have also facilitated the global and rapid spread of conspiracy theories and age-old disinformation about Jews on social media. Policies and practice have failed so far to keep up and contain the spread. And as the organizers of this conference rightly identified, such negative trends can only be counteracted through innovation and collaboration. During this challenging time, ODIR continues its search for creative solutions, for example, by integrating digital technologies into our work and developing tools tailored to the interests and sensitivities of the youth. They, after all, are the most digitally literate of all age groups. One great example of such innovation are our tools on addressing anti-Semitism through education. These include strategies for dealing with online hatred and which aim to increase knowledge about Jews and Judaism and break down anti-Semitic prejudice both off and online. Ladies and gentlemen, I am convinced that the collaborative approach is vital to combat anti-Semitism, but we need to intensify these efforts. With this strong mandate to combat anti-Semitism and other forms of intolerance, ODIR will continue to bring together a diverse gathering of governments and civil society organizations to build trust and have a real impact. I therefore very much look forward to working closely together, not only in the field of Holocaust remembrance, but also to find innovative means of combating anti-Semitism and hate crimes. In this way, we'll make our society more secure for everyone in the years ahead. I thank you for your attention and I wish you all a fruitful and productive discussion today. Thank you.